are all about board games and board gaming things. Today is very much so a video about board games and board gaming things. First off, my name is Jamie. You will notice I am Songs, my partner today. He is off gallivanting at a bachelor party. He's not really gallivanting. He took King Domino, so that's how you know it's going to be a rager. Anyways, so I'm all by myself today, and I wanted to film a board game collection tour for you guys. We're currently not adding games to the collection because of no buy, <clears throat> August and September. So this collection should remain the way that it is for a few months, with the exception of review games that come in or any pre-orders that may come in over those months. But anyways. Other than that, it shouldn't change too, too much. Uh, a few things. Number one, don't mind the mess because it do be messy. I'm trying not to expose you to our filming setup because it is literally like janky and a mess. So I'm trying to avoid that. So if you notice awkward angles, that could be why. Our board games are not organized in any particular way. If it fits, it sits because we're constantly pulling them out to do videos and then putting them back. I would love to at some point organize them in a way that makes sense. But right now, what makes sense is nonsense. So that's what we have. I think that's it. I think we should just dive into it. I hope that you enjoy. Here we go. So I'm going to start just with an overview of the shelves without trying to show you the mess that is the rest of the room that we used to record. But so this is one wall of board games right here where we keep a lot of our prettier games that we like to keep on display, some minifigures, a few other things, which I'll show you up close soon. Then we have the shelf that you guys see in every video right here. We do have the famous Ikea Calyx shelves. Of course we do. So we have three of those with two, four, six, eight shelves per. So what's eight times three? Good God. I don't know. 24? This is pretty much where all of our board games live up on the wall and on the shelf. All right, let's start with the first four shelves, shall we? First up on the shelf, we have Bunny Kingdom, and this is by Richard Garfield and published by Yellow. I have not played this one yet, pretty excited for it. Then we have Charterstone, a village building legacy game from Stonemaier Games, which we have played. Everdell Pearlbrook from Starling Games, designed by James A. Wilson. Then we have Everdell the Collector's Edition, also designed by James A. Wilson and published by Starling Games. This is Zach's copy. Uh, actually, both of the Everdells here belong to Zach. They're just living with us for a little while. Clank in Space, a deck building adventure. In Space from Renegade Games and Direwolf. This one is designed by Paul Denon. This copy is Zach's as well. Clank the Original, a deck building adventure. Once again, Renegade Games and Direwolf, designed by Paul Denon. This bad boy is ours, loves it. Then we have Castles of Burgundy from Ravensburger and Alley Games, and this is designed by Stefan Feld. It is Zach's copy though. Womp womp. Then we have Altiplano from DLP Games and Renegade Games, designed by Reiner Stockhausen. This one does belong to Zach as well. On this top shelf, we have our beautiful light and kit from Napoleon Dynamite saying La Fonda. On the shelf, we have Innovation from Yellow, designed by Carl Chuak. Then we have Mysterium Park from Libelud, and this is designed by Alexander Yevsky and Oleg Siderenko. Then we have a Call to Adventure, The Name of the Wind expansion from Brotherwise Games, designed by Johnny and Chris O'Neill. And the base game as well, Call to Adventure, same deal, Brotherwise and Johnny and Chris O'Neill. Moving on. Moving on to these four shelves. Vanna White. We have Micro Macro Crime City from Pegasus Steel and designed by Johannes Sitch. Sitch. I will pronounce all of these names wrong. Oh my god. Then we have Sleeping Gods from Red Raven Games, designed by Brian Lockett. This game is a friggin' heavy beast. Next up, we have Terraforming Mars from Stronghold Games, designed by Jacob Fritzellis. 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 Not a favorite in this household. We have Viticulture, designed by Jamie Stagmeyer and published by Stonemeyer Games. 
Gaia project from Z-Man Games or Z-Man Games, designed by Helgi Osteric Tag and Jin Drug Mueller. 100% said those wrong. That's also a heavy game. Overboss from Brotherwise Games, designed by Aaron Mesburn and Kevin Russ. This is a favorite. This copy is Zach's, but I'm pretty sure we're just going to buy it from him. Kitchen Rush from Stronghold Games, and I always have trouble with the publisher names, but it's David Turks. Tursky and Vangelis Bagiaritakis. They cite the Rise of Fenris expansion or campaign edition from Stonemeyer Games, signed by Jamie Stegmeyer and Ryan Lopez. All right, Dominion from Rio Grande Games, designed by Donald, is that an X? Donald X. DeCarina, Black of Hong Kong from Mr. Alexander Pfister and Eggert Spiel, Android Netrunner from Fantasy Flight Games, designed by Richard Garfield. Then we have The Initiative, and this is from Unexpected Games in As Day Canada, and this one is by Corey Kaniezik. Kanitska, Bloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, and this is from Cephal Fair, and it is designed. Who the heck designs this? Isaac Childress. <laughs> All these heavy games. Then we have Seventh Continent, and this is from Serious Pulp Games, designed. Who the heck? Designed by Ludovic Sauter and Bruno Rowdy. Wait, Ludovic Rowdy and Bruno Sauter. I got their names twisted. Don't get it twisted. Now we have these four shelves. Dana White. All right. Ugh. Next up, we have Merchant's Cove, the Pearl of the Five Realms, and this is from Final Frontier Games. It is designed by someone for sure, Carl Van Ostrand, with Johnny Pack and Drake Villarreal. The Mansions of Madness from Fantasy Flight Games. This is the second edition, and this is designed by Nikki Valens. Western Legends, designed by Herve Lamatre, and this is from Colossal Games. Black Angel from Pearl Games, a game by Sebastian Dujarin, Javier Jorge, and Alain Orban. Black Angel is Zach's. We have Dwarves Fall from Vesuvius Media, designed by Louis Bouet. This is from a Halifax publisher and I'm very excited about that. We've actually met me and the guys and gals at Vesuvius Media. They're all fantastic humans. And from the same publisher and designer, we also have Dwarves Winter. Then we have The Lost Ruins of Arnak from Czech Games Edition from Min and Elwin, loves it. Res Arcana from Sandcastle Games, designed by Tom Lehman. Calico from Kevin Russ, art by Beth Sobel, and this is from AEG and Flat Out Games. The Jungle Cruise, or should I say, Jungle Cruise Adventure Game, Disney. And this is from Ravensburger, designed by none other, Cross Barrow Hall. Die of the Dead from Radical 8 Games, designed by James Allen and Mark Stockton Pitt. Back to the Future, Back in Time from Funko Games. And of course, designed by Cross Barrow Hall. Marvel Villainous from Ravensburger, designed by Prospero Hall, I assume. Don't know what they were thinking with this one, because it kind of sucks, but we do still need to give it a second chance. This is that game, by the way. Arcadia Quest from Simon, designed by Eric Lang. Red Parrot, oh geez. Gulnir, Gulart, Thiago, Arna. And we also have... Arcadia Quest Beyond the Grave, which is an expansion for Arcadia Quest, and this one is from Cool Mini or Not, designed by the same people, so I'm not going to repeat it. It was a struggle the first time, it would be a struggle the second time. Now we're getting down on the floor. Oh my god, the floor is cold. First, we have Wild Space. This is published by Asmodee Canada, Catch Up Games, Pandasaurus Games, and I believe Black Rock Games as well, and is designed by Joachim Tome. Then we have a favorite, Takenoko from Bombix Games, designed by Antoine Bauza. My little panda so cute. Oh, good lord. Then we have Cleopatra and the Society of Architects from Mojito Games, designed by Bruno Cathala and Ludovic Malblanc. This is Zach's game. Marvel Champions, the living card game from Fantasy Flight Games, and this was designed by Michael Boggs, Nate French, and Caleb Grace. 
Dead of Winter, The Long Night, a Crossroads game standalone expansion for Dead of Winter. This is by Isaac Vega and John Glimmore. And we have our two expansions for Empires of the North, the Roman Banners and the Japanese Islands from Portal Games, designed by Joanna Kajanka and Ignacy Trezwizic. Game of Thrones, the board game from Fantasy Flight Games. This is designed by Christian T. Peterson. So on the bottom shelf here, we have Coup from Ricky Tata and Tahata, and it is uh, published by Indie Boards and Cards. Then we have Bring Your Own Book, and this I believe is from Game Right, and it is designed by, I literally can't see who it's by, but it's from Game Right. Then we have our only version of Monopoly, and that is Adventure Time Monopoly. This is one of the games that got Jeff and I into board games, so we will probably keep this forever. Risk Starcraft Collector's Edition from USopoly and Hasbro. Then another small box game, we have The Mind, and this is from Candasaurus Games, and this is just a simple card game designed by Wolfgang Warsh. Then we have our cribbage board right here, which is what Jeff and his dad always use when his dad comes to visit. Then we have our Blockus game, and this is from Mattel Games, and unfortunately, <laughs> One of our four colors, uh, we have a duplicates of red. So we have two reds, and we're supposed to have red, yellow, green, and blue. So we haven't been able to play it yet. The Dwarves Fall expansion, The Trolls Bridge, from Louis Bure and Vesuvius Media. An expansion for Dwarves Winter as well. This is the le legendary expansion, once again. Vesuvius Media and Louis Bure. We have our Winter Queen expansion, Gratitudes, Royal Jewelry, and the Great Wizard. This is uh, self-published, so no publisher, but it's designed by Yuri Zuravella. Poetry for Neanderthals from Exploding Kittens, a game that Jeff apparently has no interest in playing, even though I got it for him for Christmas. Brood. Mansions of Madness expansion, The Sanctum of Twilight. This is the only expansion that we have from Fantasy Flight Games. Then we have a Root expansion. This is the River Folk expansion from Cole Whirl, published by Leader Games. The actual root game is somewhere else. This expansion belongs to Zach. Let's do these shelves, these four. On this shelf, we have Star Wars Rebellion from Fantasy Flight Games, and this is designed by Corey Kanez, Kan, Kan, oh my god, Kanitska. Also have Star Wars Imperial Assault, also from Fantasy Flight Games, also designed by Corey Kanievska, Justin Kampainen, wait, what? Campaignin and Jonathan Ying. Two honking Star Wars games on one shelf. <laughs> then on this shelf, we have The Winter Queen, a game by Yuri Zravlev. Arkham Horror, the card game from Fantasy Flight Games, designed by Nate French and Matthew Newman. Rajas of the Ganges from Inca Brand and Marcus Brand, and this is published by Hutch. This is one of Zach's games. Finally, on this shelf, we have Between Two Castles of Mad King Love Quig, designed by Ben Rossett and Matthew O'Malley, published by Stonemeyer and Bezier Games. My back is killing me. Role Player from Thunderworks Game, designed by Keith Mechka. We also have Role Player Monsters and Minions expansion, designed and published by the same people. Both of these games are Zach's games. Then, of course, we have Silver Bullet, which is only down here for this tour. Usually it is upstairs. Silver Bullet, Bezier Games, designed by Ted Alspach. Silver Dagger, Bezier Games, and Ted Alspach. Silver Coin, Bezier Games, and Ted Alspach. And you guessed it, Silver Amulet, Bezier Games, and Ted Alspach. Dice City from Vangelis Bagartakis. Same guy, hey, who, uh, Design Kitchen Rush, and this is from AEG. This is also Zach's game. Just one from Repos Productions, designed by Ludovic Rowdy and Bruno Sauter, which is weirdly the same people who designed Seventh Continent. All right, then, right? That's crazy. Some people are so versatile. Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, the Monster Box of Monsters expansion, and this is, well, it's from USopoly. I can't find the designer. Vast from Leader Games, and this is Vast, the Crystal Caverns. It is a game by David Somerville and Patrick Leader. And here is Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, a cooperative deck building game from USopoly. 
This is also Zach's game. We played through this whole thing. Let's do these final four shelves of this bookshelf. Shipwrights of the North Sea from Renegade Games and Garfield Games, designed by Shem Phillips. In the same series, we have Explorers of the North Sea, Raiders of the North Sea by the same peoples. Architects of the West Kingdom, same people. By Counts of the West Kingdom, we are only missing paladins. These all belong to Zach, with the exception of architects. That one is ours. Top Gun, a strategy game, coming to us from Nick Laura, designed by Prospero Hall. We have Azul from Michael Kiesling and Next Move. Santorini Golden Fleece Expansion, and this is from Roxley, and it is designed by Gordon Hamilton, or on BGG, it just says Gord with an exclamation mark. That's Zach's. Codenames and Codenames Duet from Vlada Chevalo and CGE, Czech Games Edition. Then we have Munchkin Quest, the Munchkin board game designed by Steve Jackson and is from Steve Jackson Games. Seasons from Libella, designed by Regis Bonasse, and this game does belong to Zach as well. Nocturion, and this is published by Vesuvius Media and designed by George Scortis. Vesuvius Media again, Halifax publisher. Dune, and this is from Gale Force 9 Games and is designed by Bill Elberly, Jack Kittredge and Peter Olotka. Then we have Seven Wonders Duel, and this is from Repos Productions, designed by Antoine Bauza and Bruno Cabala. Boss Monster, the dungeon building card game from Brotherwise Games, and I don't know who designed this game. Dungeon Mayhem, and this is from Wizards of the Coast, and I don't know who designed it. It also doesn't say. Jurassic Parts from 25th Century, designed by Kevin Lansing. Munchkin, once again, Steve Jackson Games, and designed by Steve Jackson. Next to the board game shelf, we also have Scythe from Stonemeyer Games, designed by Jamie Stagmeyer. Jeff is currently painting the mini, so that's why it's kind of set off to the side. Same with Marvel United. This is from Simon Spin Master Games, designed by Eric Lang and Andrea Chiversio, or Chiversu. And I'm painting the mini for these right now, so set off to the side. Then also just want to show you the top of the shelf here because we do have some games up here as well. Star Rounds, and this is from Wise Wizard Games, Darwin Castle. Project L from Board Cubator, and we have Mage Knight, the Ultimate Edition, designed by Vlada Chavadal, and it is from WizKids. Then of course we have our Adventure Time pop figures, the whole cast and crew, Game of Thrones pop-up book, and if you look up, we have Daenerys watching over us on her dragon, about to burn everybody down. And then on this section, we have more Adventure Time. But we also have cartographers from Thunderworks Game and Jordan Auden. Sushi Go Party, designed by Phil Walker Harding and published by Game Right. The other dragons, Mother Dragon, she gotta have all three. Finally, on this side here, we have Sparkle Kitty from Breaking Games, designed by Nanny Vega. We have Unstable Unicorns from Tea Turtle. Then we have Monikers, and this is from CMYK Games. And then we also have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the illustrated version. Now, here we go. Follow me. And you'll see a world of pure imagination. We're going up. Ready? Me? It's a weird angle, but work with me, people. I'm also pretty much just too short to reach up there. I need to get a chair, so I'm just going to point. We have God's Love Dinosaurs from Pandasaurus Games, and that is designed by, oh geez. <laughs> Can't see, but God's Love Dinosaurs from Pandasaurus. We have Dinosaur Island, also from Pandasaurus Games, and then we have Fun Fair by somebody. Then we have The Isle of Cats by Frank West and City of Games. We have Red Rising, and this is designed by James Stagmeyer and Alexander Schmidt from Stonemeyer Games. And we have Carnival of Monsters, designed by Richard Garfield and published by Amigo Games. One of the loves of my life, Sheepy Time, and this is from Neil Kimball, designed, oh, designed by Neil Kimball, and it's from AEG. Tiny Towns by Peter McPherson, also from AEG, and then we have Tiny Towns 
Fortune from Peter McPherson and Josh Wood and designed by A.E.G. Now we have the Haunted Mansion Call of the Spirits game and this is from Funko Games designed by Prospero Hall and some Disney pop figures. We obviously have Tiana and the gang and then Rapunzel and the gang. Pascal, Pascal. Three of the expand alones from Disney Villainous, uh, Ravensburger, Prospero Hall. We have Evil Comes Prepared, Wicked to the Core, and Perfectly Wretched. So you know what's coming next. Have the original Villainous here from Prospero Hall and Ravensburger. The worst takes it all. We also have The Little Mermaid and Stitch. And this is a flocked Stitch, which uh, the Table Knots guys gave me, which I love very much. Then up top we have Fort from Leader Games, and we have Alien Puppies from Alien Puppies. It's self-published. I don't even know how I'm gonna get into that corner. For this show, we have Fox in the Forest from Renegade Games, and Twilight Imperium 3rd Edition from Fantasy Flight Games, designed by Christian Peterson. And then on the shelf, we have a bunch of miniatures that we've either recently painted or are will be painting. So Jeff has all of his Scythe minis here. We have some dice, we have our Orba dice. We have a card from the Table Knots crew. We have some coasters that were made for us from Danielle from the Table Knots crew, and we love them, the coasters and the Table Knots crew. You guys already know this. Then on this little shelf, we just have more Disney pop figures and then some minis that I'm painting, the Marvel United ones. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now we gotta get the heck over there. How are we going to do that? We'll find a way where there's a will. There's a way, people. Awkward angles. Ba, 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 ba. On this shelf, Parks from Keymaster Games, designed by Henry Oben. Chai Tea for Two from Steep Games, from Dan and Connie Hasmeyer. There's Fruit, and this is from, whoops, 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 whoops. from Cole World, art by Kyle Farron, of course, and from Leader Games. We have Space Base from AEG, designed by John D. Claire and the crew. Quest for Space, or Quest for Planet Nine from Cosmos. It's really tight quarters in here, guys. I would show you if it weren't such a disaster. We need a new table. The table takes up too much space. On the last shelves, we have Quacks of Quedlingburg from Wolfgang Warsh. And this is from North Star Games, though I believe there is a new publisher coming out with this. Jubitaus, John D. Clare, and AEG. And then back in the corner, we have Chronicles of Crime from Lucky Duck Games. We have The Quest for El Dorado from Ravensburger, designed by Reiner Knizia. Hamel Up from Eggersfield, designed by Stefan Bogan. Santorini from Gordon Hamilton. Whoops. From Gordon Hamilton, published by Roxley. And up at the very top, Wingspan from Stonemeyer Games, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave. Empires of the North, I should say Imperial Settlers. Empires of the North, and this is from Portal Games, designed by Roman... Kujashti. Thanks. Okay. And then back here we have Funkoverse Strategy Game. And this is obviously published by Funko Games. Doi. And it is probably by Prospero Hall. Yep. How did I know? Then we also have our No No Stick, which is from Poetry for Neanderthals. We have an Orca Arena, in case you were wondering. Now I'm just trapped over here. I'm gonna hop down now. I'm standing on something. I'm not this tall. Here we go. Peter Pan. We also have Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon, and this is from Awaken Realms, designed by Christoph Mazorski and Marcin Swierkot. And we also have the expansion, Tainted Grail, Stretch Goals, Age of Legends, and Last Night Campaigns. These don't have a place yet because the shelves are full. There are a few other games currently missing from the collection. Dice Throne from Roxley, King Domino from Blue Orange. What else did Jeff take? Jeff's away this weekend, so he took those games with him. I think he took something else. And then Jason is currently borrowing Destinies from Lucky Duck Games. But I think that's all of our games. There could potentially be some hiding in other places. I just wanted to do a collection tour while we are currently not adding games to our collection because of no buy August and September. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it was so disorganized, but hey, that's what you get here at Foster the Meeple. And I'm also a little bit out of breath from lifting all the heavy games. So that's, so that's embarrassing, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to us here at Foster the Meeple. Give this video 
A thumbs up if you're interested in buying any of the games that you just saw. You should first start at your friendly local gaming store. For us here in Halifax, that is the Boardroom Game Cafe located down on Barrington. All of their information will be right here as well as down below. Don't forget to join us on our Discord and our Patreon if you are interested in supporting us. That information is below as well. And feel free to follow us on social media at Foster the Meeple. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope to see you again soon. Now I say goodbye. Bye! It's weird standing for a video, but now you get to see all of our cop figures. Isn't it cute? I love them. These ones are going to be harder to show, aren't they? Rats. <laughs> there was another game here, wasn't there? What did I do with it? Oh my god. I'm not going to need to work out for like a year. Not that I usually do, but I'm just, I'm not, really not going to have to now. Hang on, I need a blanket. Come here, Blinky. Let's mosey on over. Come on, everybody. Here we go. I really hope that was all in focus. Let's move it, people. We're moving it.